Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Hey everyone, welcome to the show's 43-year-old Maryland resident Nicholas Ort walked to the Capitol along with the mob. Um, after they were on the Capitol grounds and, and everything was breached, the police formed a defensive line on the West Plaza. So Ort, who the prosecutor described as six foot four inches tall and 280 pounds, he maneuvers to the front of the police line and he starts fighting with officers. He was seen on video trying to force his way past the police. Then he started physically attacking and struggling with the officers. And he was seen grabbing and pushing against an officer's riot shield. Um, eventually he was successful. He pushed through the police line and he continued to fight with them even after that. He grabbed their batons as they were trying to fend off attacks from other people. Um, these are people behind Ort. And due to Ort's actions, the police line collapsed and the mob surged forward towards the building. And while he was on the Capitol grounds, he posed for a picture with two other men. Ort posted that photo on Facebook. It showed the other man holding a stolen police riot shield. And in the early evening, he posted messages on Facebook. So first he wrote that he was using a friend's phone because, quote, lost my phone pushing forward. A few minutes later, Ort wrote, quote, never was prouder to be part of it. Then about 10 minutes later, Ort posted, quote, trust me, I was there at the front lines. So around 9 p.m. that night, Ort posted a meme that said, quote, the Constitution actually says you can legally overthrow your government if they are tyrannical. We will remember that when Donald Trump, if Donald Trump makes it back in office. Um, and then he later posted a meme which said, quote, resist like it's 1776. We'll remember that too. So Ort was arrested on March 8th of 2024 and he immediately agreed to a plea deal. And in May of 2024, he formally pleaded guilty to assaulting officers. So Ort faced up to eight years in prison, three years of probation and 250,000 in fines. But the government requested 30 months in prison, three years of probation and 2000 in restitution. And this guy sounds like a real piece of work, your typical MAGA man. The FBI interviewed witnesses who know Ort. They were told by these witnesses that he has, quote, a temper like you would not believe. And the witnesses also said Ort has a penchant for lying. You don't say. Um, they told the FBI that Ort will often fabricate stories to, quote, create a false sense of grandiosity. Gee, I wonder why he likes Donald Trump. <laughs> um, in fact, the witnesses said that Ort lied about being in the Marines. Yeah, um, he never served, never served in the military in any capacity. And Ort told the probation department that he stopped drinking in May of 2024, and he had been sober for two months. Yeah, yeah, that was a lie too, because he was arrested in June of 2024 for driving under the influence. And the prosecutor said his subsequent drug test showed alcohol metabolites. He also told, told the probation office that he pays $1,800 a month in child support. So he was begging the court for leniency. The government found, though, that he, quote, routinely fails to make support payments to his ex-girlfriend for his two children, resulting in numerous family court appearances. And as of August of 2024, Ort owed more than $49,000 in back child support. Yeah, party of family values. Um, court ordered him to pay $300 a month on top of his regular payments to try to bring him current. The prosecutor said though that he routinely misses both of those payments. And on top of that, Ort owes another $46,000 in legal and attorney's fees related to his child support case. And 
he's supposed to be paying 54.5% of the medical expenses for his kids. As you probably have guessed, he fails to comply with that order as well. Oh, and on the night he was arrested for the DUI in June of this year, later, the cops were called out to his house for a domestic incident involving his current girlfriend. So again, party of family values, you know, oh, we just love family. We're, we're such good, quote unquote, Christians, you know, act, act like real men. This is how real men are supposed to act, guys. Didn't you know that? Yeah. Anyway, like I always say, you don't have to wonder why some of these people support Trump. Your vibe attracts your tribe, as they say in marketing. So U.S. District Judge Lauren Ali Khan, I think is how you pronounce her name, she presided over Ort's case. This is a new judge. I haven't heard of her before. I think she's going to be pretty good based on this. So when all was said and done, she sentenced Ort to 27 months in prison, three years of probation, and 2,000 in restitution. So almost everything the prosecutor requested. And this is unusual. Normally when I've seen people plead guilty so quickly, the judges usually give them a huge break. They completely undercut the prosecutor by quite a bit. So we'll see how she does in the future and on other cases, but she's off to a good start. Um, and guess who won't be voting for Trump in November? All right, I'll let you all know when I hear more. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, please share, and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.